It's a brand new series, guys, on the channel. We're going tier 10 in England to the Premier League. And it's a made-up team that I've done before. I've had shirts made. I've got one on. Some of the community have had them before. I did it in Twitch or live streaming on Twitch. Um, and we completed a Youth Academy Challenge. But it was from the Vanarama North. This is going to be a couple of levels below that in tier 10. No signings. Tier 10 to Prem. I'm going to lay it out like this. This is the team. FC Darton. Badge. Kits. We've got everything sorted. I've got the club made. The rivals in there. All the Yorkshire rivals that are around where I live. Um, no players. I didn't add any players. But the game have added players. I'll get to that in a second. Denmark and Italy were really fun. But at some points it didn't feel too difficult. In fact I think Italy was more difficult. Which is crazy. But Denmark we, we seemed to fly up the leagues. And we did really well. It, we had a bit of a struggle in Italy at some points. And I prefer that. And I think England provides the biggest struggle, especially early on, because the long seasons, there's a lot of money in England, even like from like League 1 onwards, unless it's like big teams drop into League 2 sometimes, and it's, it's tough. So it's going to be a grind. This is going to be tough. What I'm going to do, though, it's a different format this time. So every single week, there's going to be one episode. It's going to be Sunday night, like this one, 6 p.m., so set your clocks by it, notifications on the channel, all that stuff. It's going to be 6 p.m. every Sunday, and it's going to be a full season. So I'm going to play the game in the week, and I'll record as I'm going along. I'll put it all together, one season, one video, and we'll see how many episodes it takes. Because obviously, if it starts getting, if it's tough, and we're getting closer to FM 25, which I don't think, I think we'll finish it before that. But if we don't, I'll obviously up it to two videos um, a week. To try and get it done. We will finish this before FM25. If we finish it a lot earlier, I'll think of something else. I'm not sure what, but I'll think of something else. But basically, the club's in England. Yorkshire, where I'm from, South Yorkshire. The nickname is The Miners. We've got it on the back of the shirt as well. You guys can't see it. But the people that are watching this that do have a shirt, that were watching it on Twitch and ordered one for the charity, the my local food bank, here it is, wait a minute, Barnsley Food Bank. We got in touch with them. And it was like a charity thing. So it was really fun. I enjoyed it. And uh, I thought I want to keep the club going. And I thought I'd bring it to YouTube again. Because I've got more subscribers now than back then when I did it. And hopefully you guys can join the Darton journey. Um, I don't think it'll be the end of them if we finish it this time. We'll probably do it again at some point. I, I do like the club. I like the, I, the, the badge I made. The kits we made, etc. So I'm, a bit, I'm, I'm connected to it. So it's nice. We've got no legends, no icons and no favoured personnel. So everything's absolutely blank. We were founded in the year 2023 because obviously the game starts in 2023. Actually, it was like 2020 or 2021. I can't remember when I started it. So sh maybe I should have made it then. But for the purposes of this series, it's brand new. Uh, we've got no competitions, nothing. So the trophy cabin is literally ready to be filled. Facilities wise, we've got a 2,500 seat stadium, but only 250 seats. And the attendances won't be anywhere near that. Uh, well, the 2,500 anyway. We've got basic training facilities, basic youth facilities, fairly basic academy coaching and basic youth recruitment. So what that means is in the editor, I put all the facilities to like three or four, I think, out of 20. So it's a real grind. I've not even started us with any good facilities. Uh, we're not starting with anything that's going to help us out in the immediate short term. The only thing is... So, for example, if you look here, I set the reputation to be middle of the league. More to the bottom of the league, but not right at the bottom. Um, so, as you can see there, media prediction is 19th out of 23 teams. So, the, the reputation is quite low. Half a star reputation, semi-professional. But the team that the game has given me, the Nugents, because I've clicked add player to playable teams, because we didn't have enough players in the database... Um, it's given me some players and they're not bad um, to, to show you that in my season preview um, it's given us the best team which I don't like so what I might do is I might go in there also as well a caveat to that is all these clubs haven't yet started their pre-season so I would imagine when they're signing players which they will do they will go above us and sort of push us down to like 6th or 7th but I still think the team is too good for that. So what I might do is I might go in and release a couple of players at the start that make us good. Um, but I don't want to be without players type thing. So these are the players. 
Ryan Hopkins, 29-year-old goalkeeper. As you can see there, the determination of the players isn't great. We've got some bad personalities, low determination, casual, unambitious, unambitious again. We've got no really good personalities. There's no professional ones. There's no model professional, model citizens, because I did this before. I reloaded it a few times, and it's been giving me good players, but I had some good personalities as well. I tried to sort of reload the game to give us worse personalities so they wouldn't get much better, these players. Uh, Lewis Price came with the club. Um, he's not bad. He's one of the best players for us. Um, he's wanted, so he might even get taken off us anyway by teams in the Vanarama South, I think that is, or just below. Let's have a look. Vanarama North. So, yeah, he might get taken off us straight away anyway. So I might be talking about this and have well, the best team, but... We might have some players taken off us because, as you can see there, Regan Eldridge, he's also wanted. Um, he's not amazing, but he's six foot four and he's got a decent pace. Uh, he's wanted by a fair few teams, some teams above us, some teams at the same level, and some teams below us. Um, so those two straight away might get taken off us, and we're really struggling then, aren't we? Um, but we do have players in the under-21s that the club, uh, that the game given us, and we do have players in the under-18s. I don't think any of those players are going to be any good. I think they're going to be squad fillers, so we have enough players. But what I'm going to do is, if we have a surplus of wingers, which it looks like we do, I might like sort of release two or three of the best players to make it even more difficult and push us down the season preview. I couldn't get around it. I couldn't get around it. I didn't want to select players and, and, and buy some players to start with because that would have put it on the manager stats and said I've bought 11 players. So the only way around it is maybe release some players that the, the game's given us. Because they're all Nugents, apart from about three. Okay, as you can see there, he's 22, but he's got a Nugent face, as you can see. If I go through, um, obviously Ryan Hopkins, like I said, he's real. But there's a few, most of the players aren't real. So we're going to go through them. We've shown Ryan Hopkins, but I'll show him again real quick. He's not bad, actually. Um, he's a good goalkeeper for this level, I think. He's come from Mansfield. He's 29. He'll be retiring a couple of seasons, so we need to, uh, we need to get one through. Regan Eldridge, again, shown him, but um, he'd probably just be a centre-back for us. Six foot four, decent pace. Again, probably get taken off us anyway, but Regan Eldridge is there. Kane Wiseman, he is a centre-back slash right-back. He's okay. Um, he can maybe even play left-back. He's left-footed. He's got decent physicals, actually. He's six foot four. His mentals are shocking. He's got bad concentration, bad composure, bad anticipation, bad positioning, bad marking for a defender. So... None of these players are very good. And if we got promoted the first season, I'm not saying we will, but if we did, I don't think it'll be easy from that point onwards because we're start, we, we, our intakes won't be very good as well. So that's Kane Wiseman. Jared Fenty, he's six foot one. He's got 14 jumping reach. So he'd probably be a centre-back, decent tackling. In fact, he can only play a centre-back, so that's exactly where he will be. Uh, he doesn't look amazing, he looks okay. I think you can probably buy better players than that at this level, but he'll obviously be our centre-back. We're going to concede a lot of goals. Uh, Ransford Nyako, he's part Ghanaian. He's 15 determination, probably the highest determination we do have. He's six foot two again, only a centre-back. So he would be centre-back with Fenty. So we're all right for centre-backs. We've got Jason Douglas, who can play left-back and right-back. He's our only left-back, unless we retrain Kane Wiseman, the left back. So Jason Douglas there. Four pace, five tackling. Not great, as you can see, but we're going to have to deal with these players for now. Um, like I said, I do think as July goes on and all these teams start filling up their squad with free agents and loans, we will get pushed down. I think it's because we've got more players than them um, right now. But Sonny, 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 Sonny Fairburn. Or Fairbairn. He is a DM. Let's have a look at Sony. He's not bad, actually. He's quite good. Um, yeah, I don't mind him. DM. So, yeah, we'll play with the defensive midfielder, it looks like. I could retrain him to centre midfield, depending on what we go with. I'm not entirely sure yet. This is all going to be introduction. We're going to sort of put the team into sort of a formation that I think we're going to go with. And then next episode will be the end of season one. Right? I think that makes more sense. Because, obviously, we can't make signings. So I don't need to upgrade, update you on those. But he looks quite good as Fairburn, so we're going to keep him for a while. 27, so he's on the back end of his career. He's getting towards his prime, so that's not too bad. Sean Murphy, this guy can play left mid and right mid. I do wonder if he can play left wing and right wing. Uh, we'll have a look. 
He can't. Well, he can, but he can't, if that makes sense. He's not really got much pace. Uh, his dribbling's nine. He's not bad. He's really not that bad. He's, he's okay. Again, it's looking at the moment that we're going to have to play maybe a 4-4-1-1. Looking by these guys down here, we'll see. I think we're going to have to probably put Fairburn into centre midfield. Um, Daniel Akinyemi is unambitious for determination. Um, he's pretty good, actually. He's really good. Um, just looking at his physicals, I would expect him to do quite well. Not very good mental attributes. Pretty much a Dama Traore of tier 10. So he, he should do all right in the match engine, but he'd probably be inconsistent. Uh, he might be one of our better players, actually. Probably will be, I'd imagine, with those uh, physicals. Again, the game generated these guys. I couldn't... I couldn't see a way around it. I reloaded to try and get a worse team and it kept giving me decent players. Uh, I lowered the reputation, kept lowering it. It kept giving me these players. So unfortunately, I've tried. There's no way around it giving me decent players to start with, unfortunately, because I can't sign them. So like I said, if in doubt, I might have to release a couple of players, but only in positions where we have a surplus of them. I'll get rid of like the best one. Lewis Price, we've had a look at 24 I imagine he'll get taken off as anyways. Wanted by teams in like three divisions below, above us. So I can't see us keeping him. I don't think he'll want to negotiate a semi-professional contract because right now he's on an amateur contract. So they can just take him straight away, which probably will happen. Um, obviously, you'll get that update in the next episode. But Lewis Price is pretty good. He'll be centre midfield for now. Probably get taken away from a 16-year-old Coleman McDonald, Irish and English. He's from Enistimon. He can play centre midfield, well, attacking midfield and right wing. Um, let's have a look at Coleman. Wow. Okay, so he's pretty good for 16. I didn't expect him to be that good at 16. Again, if he improves at any sort of rate, he'll get taken away from us as well. Um, but for now, he's looking like maybe a central midfielder, maybe a centre midfield attack, potentially. I don't think he could play on the wing because his pace isn't enough. So he's either a centre attacking midfielder or he's a central midfielder. Um, I think maybe he's a centre midfielder, but we'll we'll see. We'll we'll uh, we'll we'll come to that in a second. I like the technique, good flair. Maybe attacking midfielder actually. Now I'm looking at it. Um, let's have a look at the next one. Grashan Klimshak. I think that's how you say it. He's from Svidnica. Svidnica. He's a winger. Can play on both sides, and he's Polish. Um, again, decent pace. I think he's a real player. He is a real player. He's been around the non-leagues. He's been at well, he's been from Poland. Then he went to Retford. We're in our league. Um, arm thought basically around this area good first touch decent pace anticipation not very good mentally my players aren't very good at this so we're gonna have to play quite i think we're just gonna have to play sort of gung-ho not the players are not gonna have to think about it too much not we're not really going for possession and just sort of try and be like use our pace that we've got a little bit of um but yeah uh, grashkan is a winger he can play left wing and right wing so i might have to retrain to players to play to play that um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's fine for now. Jamal Joseph, he's from Trinidad and Tobago and England. He was born where I'm from in Barnsley, 28 years old. He can play all across the attacking midfield positions. Let's have a look at Jamal. Wow. He's my best player. He's too good. He's going to get taken as well. I don't think he'll want to stay. So we're going to like, yeah, we'll see. That's, uh, he's... That's actually the first time I've seen him. I just clicked on a few players. No, he he's... I think he's too good. I, I don't see him... I think he's going to leave. Surely. He's going, right? I might have to release him. If I've got the money to do so and it allows me to do it. They might not allow me to do it. I might have to sell him. He might be too good. Well, we'll see what's happening uh, once I get an assistant manager in. Because at the moment, I can't see how good my players are. I can. But I don't know what they think as well if it's like a secondary guide. So... Right, Stuart Pope, attacking midfield and striker. Let's have a look at Stuart Pope. He's not bad, six foot two. Not pacey. So we're looking at sort of like a deep line forward or attacking midfielder vibes. Uh, maybe even a target man, six foot two, good aggression. Yeah, Stuart Pope's not too bad. He's not overpowered for this level. He's all right, 24. I'm not fine with him. And we've got Alex Longbottom. He's also from Barnsley, 27. Again. He's another player that's like sort of like a deeper striker. He's not big, but he's quite good technically, good passing, good dribbling. Um, could maybe even be a, like a false nine, deep line forward. I don't know what type of player. Maybe a shadow striker. 
behind um, Pope. That could be interesting. We've got Dennis Giorgi as well, who is a unambitious 22-year-old Irish striker. Let's have a look at Giorgi. He's got no pace either. So we've got no pace in our strikers, which is a bit of a worry. I do think Jamal Joseph is a bit too good. I'll be totally honest. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at who the game thinks is our best two players. Yeah, Jamal Joseph is the best player in the league. I think we need to, if we can, release him or transfer list him. He's, he's too good. I didn't actually see him. Um, Longbottom is the best strike, one of the best strikers in the division, which is interesting. And Akinyemi for right now as well is one of the best. So we've got three players in the starting 11 of the Media Dream 11, which is three more than I would have liked. But I do think as a few players get taken off us and we sell Jamal, which I think I'm going to have to do, he's too good. I wouldn't feel right playing with him. It's not enough of a challenge that. I wanted our team to sort of be around this 13th and 14th level. I've tried reloading the game a couple of times and it just keeps giving us top teams. So I don't know how the way around that, but it's a bit something I'm going to have to try and sort out. Um, we, do, we do have players in the under 21s, but the problem I keep seeing is it doesn't give me many central midfielders. So I might have to retrain some. As you can see there, there's not one. There's a right back, a centre back, a left back. A right mid, left mid, left wing, right wing striker. But there's no attacking midfield, DM or centre midfielders. There's not, they don't really generate them. Um, there's one here, Ryan Underwood, and there's Phil Mawson that I'm going to have to probably promote straight away um, to, be, to be like part of the first team. But some of these players I am going to have to get rid of. Um, Lewis Price will get taken. Jamal Joseph, I'm going to have to sell. We might also let get rid of... Where is he? Um, Akin Yemi, wherever he is, he's there. I don't want a top winger, a top midfielder, and a top striker. I don't mind keeping... Uh, where is he? Longbottom. I know he's apparently the, one of the best players in the league, but I don't mind keeping him so much. One player, I think he's fine, because you probably would have one player if you finish down here anyway that's quite good. But I think three or four probably makes it less of a challenge, which I don't like. So if any of you guys have got any ideas, let me know, because this will be going out today, and then I'll have a week to play, record, and finish the season. And in Youth Academy chat saves, it goes quite quick. So if you guys can, as soon as you've watched this video, leave a comment, let me know what you think I should do. I do think Joseph especially is too good, I'll be honest. Um, if we lose Lewis Price straight away and Regan Eldridge, I might consider keeping Akinyemi, but I don't think in good conscience I can keep him. <laughs> because you could sign him in League 2 and League 1, and he's pretty good for it. Like, if I just put him in centre midfield attack or deep line playmaker in there, I think we would win the league at a canter. I don't want any of this challenge to be easy. So I don't think he should be here. Too good is Jamal. Very, very good player. So, yeah. That is the introduction. We've got no affiliate clubs. Nothing like that. No staff. We're starting with no coaching badges and Sunday League reputation. That is a given because that makes it a lot harder and that is in the essence of the Youth Academy Challenge. Everything has to be a struggle to the maximum level. So, what I've done is I've put three points into working with youngsters. I mean, it's not a lot, but basically to help me with youngsters when they come through, makes sense. And then in the mental section, what I've done is I've gone with determination and motivation. Um, motivation, obviously, for team talks. I mean, two's not gonna help me out, but five for determination basically affects how adept the manager is getting their own way with the board. So if I want an upgrade or etc., then that might help me out. In fact, what I might do actually is I might put that down and I might put that up. Um, I think motivating, yeah, team talks and team meetings might be a big part. So actually, I'm going to do that. I think that I want motivating my eyes to be more important short term. So we're going to go with that. We're going to click confirm on that. And here we are. FC Darton, hire Hawley. That's me. We've got the kit. Like I see, we've got the kit on. The kit on the wall. It's all looking good. All that good stuff. 
We've got no competitions, uh, no honours won, obviously. Basic facilities for everything. We've got the NCEL Cup to play as well. We've got £116 per week wage budget, no transfer budget, uh, no staff, half a star reputation, so it's the lowest reputation you can get. Media prediction is really low. Um, I'm hoping by the end of pre-season, after a f maybe a couple of players have been taken away from us and I've got rid of Jamal Joseph, after those like three players have gone, our... Our preview looks like we're in like the middle of the league, which is fine. It's a good little base to start with, but this is going to be good, guys. It's going to be good. We're in England. People like watching saves in England. The board want mid-table, which is worrying. But that's what they want. That's what we're going to have to do. Uh, they want us to grow the club reputation and work within the wage budget, which there's not much of. Um, finishing the mid-table, that's all they want. They don't want anything in terms of like play good football, etc., etc. We're going to schedule a press conference. Yes, we are going to do that. And that is us in charge. So, obviously, Jamal Joseph, I'm going to have to probably get rid of him. Uh, I do need a, some staff members as well. Quickly, I do think the tactic will be something maybe like that. Or maybe even like... Yeah, probably... Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to play 4-2-3-1 again. I've played 4-2-3-1 too much this year, so we're not going to be playing that. I played it for too long at Slee Else, and I played it for a long time in Livorno. We want to try something different. Uh, we don't want to be doing that. So I'm going to avoid 4-2-3-1 at all costs. We're not going to play that. It's something I'm, I'm quite confident about. Um, it's very OP. I don't really have fun watching it in the match engine. It's not really creative, personally, so we're not going to go with that. Um, but... So yeah, as you can see, uh, we can't see how good these players are yet. Pot ability and potential is unknown. But what I am going to do is I'm going to call up Ryan Underwood, who is a centre midfielder. And we're going to call up Phil Mawson, who's a DM. Um, I don't know if any of these guys are actually any good. Let's have a look at their personalities, because we could potentially... So this Swedish guy here, Victor Eriksson, let me just change that. Victor Eriksson... He's very, very, very slow. Ball marking. But he might be okay. Especially if he's fairly ambitious. He might improve a little bit to be half decent. Um, so we're going to call him up as well. Enoch Owusu. He's got a decent bit of bravery and aggression. All positioning, five marking, two technique. He's not great. But he also might help us out potentially. We've got three very bad personalities here. Unambitious, unambitious, spineless. I don't think those guys are going to be doing anything for us. He's a striker actually with 14 finishing. So maybe actually we, we could potentially call him up. That's fine. Um, Vaughn in a, in a crisis. And Sam Catton maybe in a crisis. But no. Under 21s we'll have a quick look through as well. We've got Owen Skelton who's a resolute left back. Doesn't look amazing, but for numbers, we'll put him up into the first team. Struan Jeffries is a left winger. Not great, but not bad again. We'll put him up there. Uh, Charlie Lee, he's a fairly professional player, which we'll take. Oh, six foot three, yeah. Okay, we'll take him. I don't think these guys are going to have any, much potential, if any at all. I don't think we'll be seeing these guys in two or three seasons, but it is what it is. This guy doesn't look great either, Lee Hill. Uh, Louis Jones, no, three dribbling. Goalkeeper, looks very poor. Sam Boskin, 14 finishing again, maybe. Not very good. And the right back, who's okay. Maybe we call him up for numbers. Um, but all in all there, that's a decent team. Now have a look at those players. We are definitely, definitely going to be getting rid of Jamal Joseph. That is a sh sure thing. I might even release Lewis Price because he's the best player in the league, as you can see. Jamal Joseph and Lewis Price, the best two players. That's, I don't like that. Doesn't sit right with me. So I'm hoping they're going to get taken off me. What I'm going to do is rather than release them and get annoyed by the fans, I'm going to act as if they're not even in the club and hopefully someone just comes and takes them. It wasn't in my power. But if the start of the season comes and they're still here, I'll get rid of them. Right, so they won't be playing. 
I think that's the only fairest way I can do it. Uh, I'm going to try and sort of demote ourselves in terms of quality. Um, but hopefully you guys are on board. The first episode, obviously you might have already switched off by now, but if you haven't, thank you so much for watching until this point because it really helps out in terms of viewer retention and analytics and all that stuff. Um, a like as well will push it to more people. It'll tell YouTube that you guys are liking it, watching it, and it'll get more people involved for next episodes. So please do that. It would be very, very beneficial and it would help us out a lot and I would really appreciate it. So thank you for that, guys. I'm hoping you're looking forward to it. I am. I can't wait to get stuck in. Um, obviously, every Sunday an episode, I'll try and keep it under 30 minutes um, so you guys aren't staying at your computers or your phones or your whatever for too long. Um, but it'll be a season in under 30 minutes. That'll be the aim. Sometimes it might be over. Sometimes it might be under. Um, but I'll be doing it that way once every week. And then I can do other content aside from Youth Academy Challenges. Um, so it's not just this on the channel. There'll be other things as well that we'll be doing um, that I've got in the pipeline. So thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like on the video as well, like I mentioned. And a subscription on the channel, that would be fantastic. And until next time, as always, I'll catch you then. Goodbye.